morning, everybody. <laughs> it uh, may be a little bit darker in here today uh, than maybe it normally is because uh, we got a little bit of cloudy skies out today. Uh, but uh, but it's gonna, still going to be a, another beautiful day. And so for our words of encouragement today, uh, coming from uh, Epworth United Methodist Church here at the corner of Epworth and Lincoln, uh, we'll read from uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, and it's going to be uh, just verses 12 through 13, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about what comes after that. Uh, but it says, One body with many members, for just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. And so uh, it goes on to talk about how each part of the body is indispensable and, and, and how connected uh, we are uh, as Christians, uh, with our fellow Christians, and whether that is with a, a different church or a different faith community, uh, that we are all connected through Christ. And so... Uh, why is that important today? Well, today I walked into the sanctuary and, and as I'm, I'm preparing for tonight's uh, worship service, uh, it, it recording, I went out and took a look at, at the candle. And, and in each worship service that we have, uh, there's always a candle there that is lit and, and that represents uh, Christ, uh, that flame. That flame represents uh, God's presence with us in the worship service and so uh, that candle typically gets lit for uh, one hour each week and so a candle can last uh, for months uh, and and so as I'm looking at it today I'm like my goodness the candle in the sanctuary is is getting shorter and shorter and I probably ought to put up a new candle uh, this week uh, tonight and make sure that I've got a a fresh candle and as I reflected on it I looked and said it really struck me that that candle uh, has been lit uh, for uh, the worship services where where I'm I'm uh, preaching and recording they have been lit for Salem United Methodist Church where uh, Bessie Adams is coming in and and and, and uh, preaching her sermon uh, being recorded, and also for Neil Cyphers at Oakland City United Methodist Church. And so uh, that candle is going down at three times the rate that it normally does. And so tonight when, when uh, we're worshiping and I'm, I'm bringing the message, you'll see that candle's getting pretty short. And so I'm not going to replace that candle uh, until it's time, either it's, it's gone and we have to replace it, or until we are able to gather uh, together again. Because I think there's some significant uh, a relationship with this verse from, from 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12, and, and that we are one in the body of Christ. And so if you think of that candle, uh, yes, it's surrounded by wax, but in the middle there's a wick, and we don't light the wax, we light the wick, and the wick is what burns and gives off light. And so uh, for the last several weeks, something different has been occurring that, that brings this home. Is that that single wick has been lit for both uh, Epworth, for Oakland City United Methodist Church, and uh, for Salem UMC here in Evansville. And so from that common wick, the common thing, that light of Christ that brings us together is our common connection. And so uh, we are commonly connected through that single strand uh, that runs through the middle uh, of, of a candle. And I know it's something simple, uh, but it is representative of something much bigger, and that is our connection within the body of Christ. And so you can be encouraged in that, not only knowing that, that as we pray as a group of, uh, of Epworth folks, uh, we also know that we are, we are in this uh, and working through this with a much larger faith community uh, that is the United Methodist Church. And that we are all praying together, we're preaching together. Uh, we are not alone uh, in this and that each of us serves a purpose 
uh, within Christ's kingdom here. And we can be encouraged in, in that. And perhaps uh, as we go forward, perhaps as we uh, go to what I'm hoping will be a new normal, not back to normal, like I said the other day, let's not go back to normal. That that common, that, that our focus stays on that common thread uh, in the center of the candle, which is Christ and the light of Christ, and that we can continue to share uh, in that light moving forward and be reminded of this scripture uh, from Corinthians. And so be blessed today. Have a wonderful Saturday. Be encouraged in this and go in, in the light of Christ. Let us pray. Gracious God, uh, let us see you in the little things. Uh, there's symbolism uh, that you put all around us that are part of our, our traditions, part of the things that we do, uh, that sometimes we take for granted or we don't uh, remember maybe even why we started doing these things, uh, why we started lighting a candle uh, at the beginning of worship service uh, something that, that we, we might take for granted. And so uh, there's a whole lot more candle lighting things that go on every day in our lives. And so give us the vision to see these things. Give us the courage to respond as you're calling us to be. And let us fulfill our part that we're called to do within the body of Christ. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a truly blessed day. Saturday and be encouraged. One of the challenges of operating in times like these are, are, are how do you, uh, you know, it's a fact, we, we've still got bills to pay here at the church and, and so how do you have fun uh, with, with making an electric bill uh, sound, sound exciting? And so we're going to do a little bit different take today on giving and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out with uh, a, a, a song that, that many of us know. It's called Victory in Jesus. And so as I was thinking about Victory in Jesus, I thought about NASCAR. And so I, I see we're sitting truly in Victory Lane. Now I know it's a stretch. I know that is a huge stretch. So we're going to pretend for a little bit here that we're in Victory Lane. And, and so uh, I'm going to be the NASCAR driver, just one, uh, I first of all I'd like to thank God. Uh, thank God for giving us the Bible, giving us His Son who paid the price uh, for us, and, and, and we thank you for that, for putting the Holy Spirit within me that that, that uh, uh, keeps me going. And uh, gosh, I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, Purell hand sanitizer. I'd like to thank Purell for giving me clean hands while I'm here and for great value soap. Oh, I just couldn't do it without great value soap. That's amazing. Uh, I know, I'm, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Uh, I'd, love, oh, I'd like to thank Epworth United Methodist Church uh, I, uh, for giving the space, the ability to do these videos. And uh, you can visit our sponsors at Epworth, www.epworthalive.org. Uh, and so show your support there at that website. There's a giving tab that you can use. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, the folks that provide the electricity, uh, veteran, oh wait a minute, that's right, we've got to pay those guys. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Chandler Water, uh, oh that's right, we've got to pay those guys. Uh, I'd like to thank the folks at uh, Old Spectrum uh, for, for our internet, and, and so, oh wait a minute, we've got to pay those guys. Uh, gosh, who am I forgetting? I think that's got most of the list covered, uh, but at any rate, uh, gosh, it's great to be sitting here in Victory Lane. 